this is a identity. So we have to prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. That is a minus, by the way, that is a minus and that is a minus. The first thing that you should see when you look at a question like this, I want you to observe that there are two fractions. Okay, so we have two fractions. It doesn't matter if there's sin, cos, tan, whatever. What should you do when there are two fractions? Let's go back to grade four. If we have one over four plus one over three, what should you do when there are two fractions? You should get a common denominator. That is the first step that you should always do whenever you see two fractions. Don't worry about the sin and the cos. Think about the fractions first. So what would the common denominator be for this? You've got a cos x minus sin x, and then you've got a cos x plus sin x. Well, that just means that your common denominator, your LCD, is just going to be cos x minus sin x and cos x plus sin x. So what that means is that we are going to have to multiply this cos x plus sin x up to that side. And we're going to have to multiply this cos x minus sin x up to that side. And so that's going to look like this. You're going to get cos x plus sin x multiplied by cos x plus sin x minus cos x minus sin x multiplied by cos x minus sin x all over Uh, the common denominator, which is cos x minus sin x, cos x plus sin x. Okay, so what we would do now is you would simply multiply out the top. So for example, you would multiply all of these brackets together. So let's go do that. That would give us cos squared x plus 2 sin x cos x plus sin squared x minus, now be careful with this minus, it catches a lot of students. Because you've got that minus, rather keep the answer in a bracket. So now we're going to multiply these two brackets together and that would be cos squared x minus 2 sin x cos x plus sin squared x. And then all of that is over the denominator of cos x minus sin x cos x plus sin x. Okay, so if you had to go ahead and um, simplify the top, what you would find eventually is that um, this cos squared x is going to cancel out with this cos squared x, and this sin squared x is going to cancel out with that sin squared x, um, this minus and this minus is going to become a plus. And so you are actually going to put these two things together. And so at the top, you're going to end up with 4 sin x cos x. And then at the bottom, I'm going to multiply the two brackets, uh, the two brackets together. And that's going to give you cos squared x minus sin squared x. Okay, this is actually not looking too bad anymore. Now, at the top here, we can see that we've got a four sin x cos x. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite that as um, two multiplied by two sin x cos x, because two times two is four. And then at the bottom, can you see I've got a cos squared minus a sin squared. Here, I've also got a cos squared minus a sin squared. And so that can be rewritten as cos two x. Right, now this part over here is the same as this part over here. So what I can do is I can rewrite it as the sin of 2x. And so what we're going to end up with is 2 sin of 2x over the cos of 2x. Now the sin of 2x divided by the cos of 2x is obviously just going to be the tan of 2x. And so the final answer will be 2 tan 2x. And so therefore, 
the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side.